Moshe, the Electric Israel is here, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and my supporters. Um, Tesla Model Y, uh, I just read uh, Tesla. I'm not surprised about it at all. I talked about it in a video a couple of days ago. Uh, Tesla Model Y owners, existing owners, are going to, re to receive a software update. We receive those almost on a daily basis. Uh, software update that will increase the range of the Tesla Model Y right now. Now, before I tell you exactly, uh, this is not new. Uh, it happened to me on my Tesla Model 3 way back in 2018 when I bought the Tesla Model 3, the long range rear wheel drive. Um, it, um, it had a 310 rated range, 310 rated range. And then, I don't know, four months, six months later, it, uh, I got a, a range boost uh, and it got it all the way up to 325 that's 15 miles more that's great so that's the rated range right now now the Tesla Model Y the one I'm driving now came with 316 miles rated range and the software update which I read in electric uh, somebody got it already I'll show you a picture uh, will go up to 325 miles so nine miles plus, that's fabulous. Uh, so this is uh, something that Tesla does through software upgrade, upgrade uh, HVAC. I can tell you my Model Y right now that I'm driving, I got a software update not too long ago uh, regarding the HVAC. So now I'm by myself, right? Uh, so the uh, passenger seat, uh, the fan is not blowing on what would be the passenger. It's just blowing on me. Okay, so that's one little one little uh, uh, adjustment that they did that, of course, saves on energy and does saves on uh, range and all that. It's all about efficiency, <coughs> efficiency, efficiency. So that's great. Now, having said that, let me qualify everything. Rated range is what you see. It's not exactly what you're going to get in the real world. And, and for the most part, you're not going to see what the car is supposed to show you. Okay, I never seen 316 miles on this car when I charge it uh, all the way, which is some, something you should do very rarely. Uh, so I uh, never saw that. I, on my Model 3, I never saw 325. The most I saw, I believe, was 317 or 318 or something like that, I don't remember. So you don't see, it depends, summer, winter, your driving history that week, it, it, it is, it, there's a lot of variables. But after I said all of these, what affects your uh, real world range is the way you drive, uh, speed, uh, elevation, uh, use of the uh, uh, instruments, the uh, heat, heating and cooling, uh, you know, uh, uh, temperature outside, that's the biggest one. You know, right now I'm driving, it's 44 degrees, an hour ago was, was 32. Okay, so uh, it all depends on the weather and all the, those conditions, so what you get is not exactly what you are going to see. Actually, always you're gonna get less than what you see. So it all depends on all those conditions I I uh, mentioned. Last but not least, interestingly enough, I don't think this is gonna happen, but why not bring it up? Would Tesla Model 3, existing owner Tesla Model 3 will get a range boost as well? Because now the 2021 Teslas uh, Tesla Model 3s are going to have a maximum range of 353 miles. That is fabulous. Uh, will my Tesla Model 3 get it? I don't think so because I, I don't think so. I have a feeling that the new Model 3s will have heat pump. Uh, it's a different battery. But listen, you never know. Elon Musk always surprised. I would be delighted. I predict no. You tell me what you predict. Maybe Tesla Model 3s 2020 that we just bought, let's say now. Uh, maybe they will get some kind of a range boost uh, to 353 miles. We'll see, see what happens. I, be, I don't believe I will, but I will be happy. Let me know your thoughts below. Thank you guys for watching. See you all tomorrow.